Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. Sorry for the massive gap between the tutorials, for me at least. I've had exams, they all went well, thank you very much. So in today's episode, we are going to go over item right click events. So let's get started. Obviously we're going to have to create an item. So I'm going to create a staff, it's going to go on my tools. Public static final item and call it staff fire and this is equal to a new staff fire although it's going to be my tool section it's not actually going to be a tool it's going to be a normal item so all it needs is the name staff fire i'm going to create this class and put it inside of dot objects dot items or dot tools sorry it's going to extend item base, control shift do to import that and add the constructor. And now the, there's two different types of function for right clicking. There is on item right click. And on item right click is used when you're just right clicking the item in the air or anywhere. When you right click the item anywhere, item right click will fire. However, there's another one called on item use and this is something that will happen when you right click the item on the ground so you want to choose which function you're going to be using depending on the thing you're making for me I'm going to use on item right click as I want to be able to fire things out of the staff anywhere I don't have to be looking at the ground but you can use on item use if you want something to happen when you right click on a block the first thing we're going to want to do in here is actually get the item itself. So item stat item equals player dot get held item. Oh sorry, player in dot get held item in their hand, which is enum hand in. And then for me, it for me, I want to fire something when I right click. So I want to get where the player is looking. For this, I'm going to get a 3D vector which you use the function vec3d called aim equals player in dot get look vec control shift over to import vec3d so that now will get the play where the player is looking and then finally we need one more variable for what you're firing for me I'm going to fire an entity and then you can look at the, these type of entities and what you want to fire. Obviously some of them won't make sense, you can't fire an actual mob, but you could fire something like an arrow or one of the tipped arrows, or as I'm going to do, an entity large fireball. Or you could create one of your entities yourself. So for this I'm going to de declare it to be fireball, and this equals a new entity large fireball in here it's going to have the world player and then one 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 these three ones being its acceleration then now we're actually going to declare what happens to the fireball so we want fireball dot set position we're going to have the player's position player dot pause x player in dot pause x plus where the player's aiming aim dot x multiplied by 1.5 double so I multiply one by 1.5 then the y is going to be the same final one is z and it's going to be exactly the same that is the fireball's default position then we're going to set the acceleration for each of the fireball locations fireball acceleration x equals aim dot x and then multiplied by i've got it at 0.1 but you can change this value around to make it as slow or as fast as you want. I'm going to copy this twice more and change it to Y and Z. And then once we've set all those things, we can actually spawn it in the world. World dot spawn entity fireball. We are then going to damage the staff once we've used it. Item dot damage item by one the player and then return it wants an action result 
a new action result, triangle brackets, item stack, open normal brackets. It wants the result, enum action result, dot success. And then the actual item itself. And that is the code to fire a fireball. So this can be changed for lots of different entities. Or as I said before, if you want your thing to do something completely different, like the way the hoe works, when you right click on a block, it can you can use it to change to another block. Then you would use the on item use function and just have it change the block location. I'm not gonna bother creating a texture for this right now, but obviously it works the exact same as all the other items that we've used. If you haven't watched the item video, then it's the second video in this tutorial series. So go check that out. So we're going to run the game. So here we are with this item. Obviously it doesn't have a texture, but when we right click, it will spawn a fireball and fire it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Once the a stable version of Minecraft 1.13 Forge comes out, I will start up my 1.13 series. So for the more complex viewers, um, obviously you can do the basics themselves. I will be starting up a new series, but I will also be continuing with the more complex tutorials. So if you're looking forward to that, leave a like down below and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. My name has been Harry and goodbye.